Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to be talking about using data frames. And this is a relatively new feature of ours. And data frames are great because they increase both the structure and the flexibility of your studies and your task design. They can also be used as alternatives to arrays. And they do simplify experimental design, and I'll show you how in a moment. So let's go to a new canvas frame here. And let's say for this experiment, I'm just going to be presenting an image. And I'm going to set this duration for 2000 milliseconds. And I'm going to hide the mouse. So this is going to be just one task in my study. And let's come down here to the trials and conditions window and say, I'm going to change this to four trials. So now the way my study looks, I'm going to have four images presented for two seconds each. What you would usually do for this is you'd click on the image, click on the folder icon, and upload all of the images that you need. But I'm going to show you with data frames, you can do this in a more interesting and flexible way. So let's go to the variables tab, and we're going to add a new variable. And I'm going to call this my data frame. Once I change the format to data frame, you'll see the options change here. What you can do is you can click Edit Data Frame. And data frames are basically spreadsheets with lists of stimuli or lists of different conditions. And you can upload that here. If you have a CSV file that um, fits the experiment, you can just upload it here. Or you can create the data frame in LabVanced. So let's click the plus icon and create it. As you can see, I get just one little cell here, but it's listed as column one and my data type by default is file. You can change this. You can make these string values, numeric, boolean, or file. If you're doing files, you do have to upload them manually. If you're doing any of the other three, you can actually type them on your own in Excel or Google Sheets or whatever spreadsheet service you use and upload them here. Since for my study, I'm showing an image on a frame, I'm gonna go ahead and manually upload these files. So let's pick four images one for each of my trials, and click OK. Now, I said that this would be a little bit different than just uploading files the normal way, and I'm going to show you why. For this study, I want each subject to see different images. So what I can do is I can add another column, and I can upload four different images to this column. Like that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to be able to have the task, look at the column and the row, and decide which image should be shown to the participant. So let's say this is my data frame all complete. I'm gonna click OK here and click OK again. So let's add the event that's going to make all this possible. I'm adding a frame event. My trigger is going to be frame start. And my action, I want to show the image. So I'm going to make an object action, set object property. For the target, I'm going to select my image. And for the property, I'm going to select file data. Now we need a way to use our data frame to show an image. So I'm going to click the pen icon, go down to variable, and choose select value from data frame. Immediately, it prompts me to select the data frame as my variable. And now I can choose the row and the column specifications. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say I want the experiment to select the row based on the variable trial number. So now each of my rows becomes the image associated with that trial number. And for column, I'm actually going to select the variable under global variables subject number. So now this reads, on frame start, go to this data frame using the row number or trial number and the column or subject number, choose an image to display. So the first subject in my experiment is going to see those four flower images I uploaded. And the second subject is going to see the four other images I uploaded, all associated with the trial number. And this actually prevents me from having to do more complicated logic, say, in blocks or groups in having to decide who should see what image. So I can click Finish and click Save, of course. 
And now we can go ahead and take this for a spin. Do a little test run here. All right, so I'm subject one. So I'm seeing the flower images. Perfect. So now subject two to my study, we'll see the dog images or whatever other images you had uploaded. And this is a really basic way to use data frames. Thank you for watching.